Yeah, that's me, sir. Thank you. So, so while we're eating, unfortunately, I've got Mike and Eve on here now. I looked, up, looked on my old playlist. Over two years ago, these two guys I met up with, and I used to call Yabon and Mike, but I got it all completely wrong. It's Mike and Ebon, and um, we're in their territory because you not you don't live far from here, do you guys? No, no about seventy-five meters from this very place. And, and this is your is this your local haunt, or is this a special because yoga? No, it's a local. Shall I put this on? We'll, we'll swap it, but I'll hold it like this. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's picking up. It's picking up all right. Yeah, it should should be okay. Yeah. Um, I'll keep it. Yeah. So yeah, we um, we live seventy five meters away down that way. Chips. Oh, chips. Yes. And my my chips. Pies. <laughs> You're getting all excited. Oh, <laughs> well, that's why I think. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's right. That's yeah. It, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all in. Yeah. Thank you. Lovely. So Thank I'll, you. Just, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just move it around a bit so they can say what's going on, on the table. Here. Loads of stuff on the oh, table. Wow. Yeah. Very posh. Yeah. I've got Eve on there. I'll just move it back on to Mike without me. That's it. So, you're back here in Spain. You've only been here a couple of days, haven't you? Yeah, we came back on Saturday, yeah. the 9th of March. Am I right in thinking you've changed all logos slightly? Or you just got some new... Got some new T-shirts. New some T-shirts. So, so it's the same, <laughs> obviously same name, isn't it? Everything's the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just um, a bit of a, what do you call it? A spring clean. A spring clean. Yeah, we, 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 we were fed up with the white shirts because they get mucky and they don't look good on camera. You know, on, on, you want to be in, in sort of mid tones, you don't want to be too white. You don't need white, you don't want to be black uh, because it, you know, it doesn't look good on camera. So we, we thought we'd go for a, a different colour shirt, so we went for blue shirts. The white ones go discoloured. Yeah, they, they, they look awful, don't and they? And were they done professionally? We, did you? Do it yourselves. We use the same people, yeah, spread, yeah. spread shirt, the same people that we use yeah. for the, yeah. the um, you know, we've we paid normal price for them. Yeah. You get a little bit of a discount, of course, because it's your shop. Yeah. But um, I can't remember how much they were now. I bought a hat. It, you, that you got uh, four, it was a special deal for four? Yeah. I can't remember. Yeah. Anyway. So, now, you, now you're back here in Spain, have you got anything new you're doing? No, like I noticed you starting to do a few more like restaurants and bars and whatever. Yeah, we 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 sort of the uh, format of our videos is like we wander around like a couple of people lost in a field, don't we? <laughs> and then we talk absolute rubbish for about yeah? twenty minutes. Yeah, well I think we all do that, don't we? <laughs> we're all and we babbling up, away. And we end up in a a restaurant or a bar. Yeah. And we just chill out, don't we? Yeah. Like yesterday we did the went to Pink Lake yesterday. We didn't really plan that, did we? We no. just said, let's go for a walk. And sort of it's a bit like you, Sean, you know, with the editing business. Yeah. You don't want to be doing too much editing. No, no. I mean, I love editing, to be honest, but it just took a long time. You know what? That's the bit I hate. Yeah. I love going out, taking the photo, the snaps, but when it sit behind the computer, yeah. I just wish you could press a button and that bit's out of the way. Yeah. But um, you enjoy the editing. I mean, yeah, you've got a lot of gear, haven't you? I mean, I've seen your tables, all the, <laughs> all the dials and... Yeah. Yeah. Well, fortunately, or luckily, I did it for a living before. I yeah, started, yeah, so yeah, I, yeah. I didn't really. I, I downsized what I had. Yeah. Um, if you still but, got that massive camera that you was talking I sold about, it. you sold it. I sold it last year. Yeah. Um, I sold all my pro gear last year. I thought, well, I'm not going to use this again. Although I have been offered a job since, and I will be offered a job in November, I think. You know, because I used to all the Christmas light switch ons. Yeah. For big TV and. Um, I should really enjoy them as well. I'll tell you what I we do. It. We'll have a break. Yeah. So we, the food didn't go Let's too break cold. And then we do it. Yeah. I'll we'll come do. back to you. Because it's a bit smelly. What? Well, I've got curry all down my shirt. Oh, no. Oh. Uh, and it's on camera. She's not looking after me. Oh, boy. <laughs> come on. I'm not come on, get it yet. sorted out. <clears throat> Don't worry too much because the camera is missing that bit. Is it missing that bit? Yeah. So, so, Mike, Ron, tell us a little bit about yourself, your background, how you both met. Oh, wow. Ooh. No, <laughs> just That's a long time ago. Good. Yeah. All no. that information. <laughs> right. Have you got your sleeping bags ready? <laughs> <laughs> we met in 1975. Uh, we both worked at a place called Valances in Bradford on Market Street, where we didn't get that bus yeah. uh, yesterday. <laughs> that we missed the bus, which people will know about if they've seen the video. Um, 
we got sent away from that place, didn't we? Anyway, it did have special memories for us, Market Street, because we both worked at a place called Valances, and uh, it was an electrical retailers, sold white goods, brown goods, hi-fi, and records. And Yvonne worked in the office. I did. And she started in the January. No, I didn't. I started yeah. in August. She started in the <laughs> August. Such a good start. <laughs> she started in the August. And um, you was on holiday. I don't think I spoke to her until about. You weren't, you weren't there, you was on holiday. Oh, were I? Yeah. You see, let him on to because she knows more than No, me. no, I want to see how much you remember. <laughs> no, you better put myself in trouble. <laughs> Beat you up late. Um, well, yeah, we started going out, didn't we? Didn't we go to the home exhibition? Oh, that's somebody else. <laughs> okay. no, we, we, we go to somebody the... else. <laughs> Should we, should we move on? Yeah. <laughs> Divorce okay. proceedings. Yeah. Okay. No. Yeah. We, went, we went out in the January of 76. Oh, 76. That was our first date. All right. That was 16th. a hot, hot summer, wasn't it? Yeah. I seem to remember. Yeah. Yeah, that's when, yeah, I remember that. That was the hottest summer in for years, wasn't it? 76, yes. 76. 76. Yeah. Yeah. I remember I had this Ford Cortina, Mark 1. And you're, Yvonne's dad was a motor mechanic, and uh, I drove down to Devon, or we drove down to Devon, and my hydraulic, because it were hydraulic brakes, and it was so hot that it melted the uh, the, the brake pipes. Oh, God. And uh, I, I got stuck, I'd got no brakes, I had to pull up, and your dad came and rescued us. Yeah, because they, they were down there in the caravan, we were driving down. We to were going down to, to them, yeah, yeah. Wow. And he had to drive back, I don't know, about another... 200 miles to pick us up and take us back home. He fixed the car, he put water in it. I don't know how he did it, because we, there were no hydraulic. We were mechanics, so he knew what to do. Okay. And I think he must right. have somehow sealed the pipes and put water in the hydraulic fluid right. thing. And it got us to the place, and then he fixed it properly when we got there. So you're a good mechanic, I you know. I don't remember that detail. But... Oh, I do, yeah. yeah. So, so coming back a bit when, hmm. or moving on in the timeline a little bit, actually, before you retired, what was it you were doing? Um, um, what's your profession? A bit of all sorts, really. I, I started off as working in shops in retail with cameras. I was, I was interested in cameras. But in 1976, I, um, I stopped and I went full time entertainment. Right. And I played in a band. Um, I went, I did, we actually came here to Spain and we worked at the Air Force Base in Zaragoza and the naval base at Rota, which is around the other corner, past. Right. I did that for two months, and so we came back into the summer season at Butlins. And uh, we were sort of, yeah, it was, yeah, I can't remember what, we, what happened after that. I got, oh yeah, yeah I, we summer went to um, the summer season at Butlins, and then, I don't want to go back to too much detail, do we, because uh, it's boring. <laughs> <laughs> <Really>? Yeah. <laughs> And then, yeah, I went back to retail because the band split up. Okay. Uh, it, was, it was good, actually. We, we, it was, I really enjoyed it, but it split up and I got a job. They actually went off with Martha Reeves and the Vandellas. And I, and Jerry and the pacemakers, they went, some of them went with them. And, uh, and I, I just got a job <clears throat> and I went back into retail. And I did that for another quite a few years. And then I went self-employed after that, to cut a long story short. And uh, produced backing okay. tapes, you know, like karaoke. Before karaoke started, karaoke right. came in about 1992 yeah. or three or something like that. Cheers. So, um, yeah, that, uh, yeah, that's what happened then. Then, then I went to because of the camera background. I went into making music videos, and, and it went from there. Right. So, so, yeah. What's your most memorable, um, I call it job or event? that you've um, done in your media career? Um, well, lots really. Um, I filmed a lot of different people and different, you know, business, corporate, entertainment, acting, um, music, concerts, that type of thing. So filmed the Queen a couple of times, filmed Prince Charles and Camilla at Piccadilly. And the, in 2012, I filmed the, um, that was quite a memorable job. That was, they actually, it's the first time they've ever closed Piccadilly in London. It'd never been closed before. Um, and nobody knew that Prince Charles and Camilla were coming apart from us and the presenter and 
and we got a big screen up in Piccadilly. <clears throat> so that was quite a memorable thing. And they had a big garden party, but nobody knew that, um, just up from BAFTA, you know where BAFTA is? Yes, yeah. Uh, so all along that street were all closed. Uh, and is it Warnham and Mason's, what they call that place, is that really? Oh, the Mason's place in Holborn? Yeah, they, no, the, uh, is it Fortnum and Mason's? I don't know what they yes, call you know, yes, the, yes. the big posh yeah. places where, you know, nobody can afford to buy anything. No, in Knightsbridge. <laughs> uh, Knightsbridge. In Knight, well, no, it's, it's on Piccadilly, this one. Oh, it's um, uh, Mayfair. Yeah, whatever they call it Bridge anyway. Park, but you've got the Ritz. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but nobody knew they were coming, and, um, and then we announced that Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Prince Charles and Camilla, blah de blah. And up the popped and uh, but all of a sudden it, there were about a hundred paparazzi there. Oh my word. And I was supposed to film them doing the you know, the, the table and that, you know, talking to the people. And uh, all these you know, the vultures from the paparazzi. Oh no. <laughs> I did actually manage to get probably the best shot and they did show a little bit of respect because they knew what I were doing. And then got right to the to the end, and Prince Charles were there, and they did the the, um, the anthem, uh, "God Save the Queen," right. and Prince Charles was singing the first verse of "God Save the Queen," and then everybody stopped, and then they played the second verse. <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> I think Prince Charles they were really funny uh, because it, nobody expected him to do two verses. <laughs> I think just like a backing track carried on going. That was funny. I've got that on tape actually. Should put it on YouTube. Yeah. So, what made you come to Spain? What made that transition to wanting to come to Spain? Um, well, we're in. Field? Yeah, we were in Turkey before. We got we got a little bit fed up of Turkey and the travelling distances and the car rental prices and things like that. So we decided to come here and give Spain a go, which was our originally our first choice, wasn't it? But mm. we didn't um, we didn't do it because it was too expensive at the time. We couldn't afford uh, Spain at that time. We could afford Turkey because it was a lot cheaper. But then when the price crash happened in 20, 2008, yeah. um, the, all the prices came down quite a lot, yeah. a lot. And, uh, and then we could afford it. So in 2016, we bought in Spain, right. which would have cost us, well, for example, our neighbours paid 100,000 for his exact same property wow. and we paid 59 for it. Right. And we know somebody that paid 45. So they must have peaked at the exact time when it was at its lowest. It was coming back up when we bought. Yeah. But our next door neighbour, Andy, bought at 45,000. Yeah. Exactly the same property. Yeah. And the Gary round the back bought it early on and he paid, I think he paid 97 or something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like that. So massive differences in prices. Mm. And we got it at 59, which we thought was good value. Mm. And it's now worth about... 80 maybe 70 yeah you see them up for sale between like yeah. 76 and 80 don't you? yeah so you, you you've come up with the uh, decided to make a youtube channel yes between <laughs> the lakes yeah which is it's becoming rapidly very famous hang on when you say that you've got to give the whole title between the no. lakes yeah and more and it, it's changed actually just recently it's I've, it's changed I've changed it from <laughs> I've changed it from Between the Lakes with Mike and Yvonne yeah. to Between the Lakes in Costa Blanca. And the, the reason I've done that, it's still with Mike and Yvonne. I could call it Between the Lakes in Costa Blanca with Mike and Yvonne, but it's a bit long. Yeah. But on the actual YouTube title, I changed it to Costa Blanca because I thought more people are going to click on it yeah. for yeah. Costa Blanca. Yeah. And in Costa Blanca is a lot more famous than Mike and Yvonne is. So I thought, well, and it's, it's getting people to the right place, yeah. Yeah. which is what we're doing, trying to promote Costa Blanca, particularly Tori Vieca, because we love Tori Vieca, we want to promote that. Yeah. And um, I thought calling it Costa Blanca instead of Mike and Bond would just give it a little bit more. The new t shirts then, it's the Costa Blanca, not Mike and Yvonne. No, no, it's just it's Mike not, and Yvonne. No. <laughs> no, we've kept it the same. Still the same. It the same. same logo. Right, right. Yeah. 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 Uh, you know, we like to have that little personal feel, don't we? You yeah. know, we like people to know what our names are, don't we? You know, unless I'm Costa and you're Blanca. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. yeah, change our names. Yeah. <laughs> unless she costs you and you blank her. Yeah, yeah. 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 Probably might like it. No, I think it's more likely for her to blank me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but moving swiftly on, so, so who is the brainchild behind the channel? Mike. Am I? Well, you've put, yeah. put a lot of input in. Well, I have, but you was the one that started it. 
Yeah. It was it, your idea. I suppose, you know, I love camera work. I love filming. I love photography. I love making films. So, you know, when I packed in me, I could have it professionally. When I packed that in, I, I wanted to carry on doing it because I love it. So I think because that's of why. when COVID hit, you, you had no work. And you yeah. still wanted something to do, so that's exactly, why you just yeah. when we started coming out here. Yeah, because w when COVID hit in twenty nineteen, well, in twenty nine, end of end, end of twenty nineteen, went in November, yeah. then and then yeah. it kicked in in the UK in twenty twenty in March or whatever when we locked yeah. down. So obviously, I was I want retired then. I'm retired now because yeah. I'm, you know, sixty eight, or I will be soon. <laughs> uh, I don't want to I don't want to go there. Don't go there. <laughs> but um, uh, before. I got no work whatsoever because I just I was self-employed, working for a, a TV company that got work, um, but there were no live events for me to do. There were nothing. Right. I, I couldn't do any entertainment because I, I couldn't do any sport. I did a lot of sport. I did a lot of rugby league, football, um, but all that had gone because there were no no, no, no sport, yeah, there yeah. no entertainment. There was nothing. So then I thought, well, I might as well just retire. So we sold our house, didn't we? Yeah. Yep. We sold his house and we downsized to a, a little beautiful house in Clackin, which we love. And uh, best thing we ever did, I think. Yeah. So the money difference between the house, I thought, well, at least that'll see us through until like, I do actually retire. Yeah. In, uh, I would do to retire in what year? Twenty three. When did I retire? Last year, wasn't it? Yeah, well, last, no, I think what year before? Yeah, before. I'm sixty seven now. Sixty eight in, in it was August. So it wasn't last though. It was August before, wasn't it? You're 66th birthday, wasn't it? Uh, I retired at 66, yeah. yeah. So, uh, 50, yeah, well, it was um, 1956 I was born. Oh, I can't work it out. I'm too old. Never mind. Yeah, you forget. It's 22. I think it was 22. Yeah, it was 22. I think it was 22, yeah. Oh. Yeah, because 6 and 6 you is 12. A, yeah. a little episode <laughs> on that. Did I do it? Did I? Well, you did a you, <laughs> not, not an episode on your retirement, but you mentioned it in the episode. Yeah, I might have done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. mentioned it in the episode. And he probably yeah. mentioned getting his bus pass, which I was so oh, delighted yes, about. Did, That's yes. when I ever got my bus the pass. OAP bus pass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I got it before uh, my birthday as you well. You did, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, you couldn't believe it. Now, shh, don't tell anybody, but Yvonne is. <clears throat> shh. Isn't she? Not yet. Soon. It's going to be less than... She's going to be 21. Put it this way. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what you want to say? Yeah. Next Monday, it'll be less than a year before you're retired. Morning. Yeah, it's uh, 69 now, isn't it? What? <laughs> <laughs> you, you got that wrong, but no, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, that's, that's no, wrong. No, no. But anyway, the thing is, she's retiring. Next year. Next year. Next yeah, year. but you see, when I first started saying this, when I retired, you say, well, I've got two and a half two years Two and a half go. years I had. But now she has. She's only got less than a year on Monday to go. Haven't you? On Monday? Yeah, on Monday. That's after your birthday on Sunday. Mm. So, so yeah. we've talked a lot about Mike and his career, if you like. He's a good What about you, Yvonne? What, what were you doing in parallel to uh, Mike's hmm. career? Well, after leaving school, I started at Balances, where we met, and I worked there up until after we got ended up getting married and started with children. What? Did we get married? Yeah. Do you remember? That's a long time ago, 1980. A long time ago. Sweet <laughs> spot, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So I worked there and then I left when we started a family, and then I worked around. We had, we had three children over a period of... How many years? Oh, a lot. Eight, 1983, yeah, Lee years, were born. 1987, Jenny were born. And then... 92. 1992, Steph Stephanie yeah, were born. Yeah. So, so nearly 10 years. During that time, I just worked around the kids. Did work from home. I did Avon. I worked for you doing... Duplicating cassettes and CDs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I did several things, really. Just working from home. I'd, um started a mums and toddler group, which turned into a play group, which is still going now. Mm. Uh, I don't do any work there, but it's still going. What about your biggest claim to fame? Um, which is that? What are you doing now? Well, I'm working up. Are oh, you working up to that? OK. <laughs> <laughs> so then I went back to work in, I think it was 2001, when I went to work at the Mecca Bingo in Jewsbury for 
Mm. How many years was that? About seven years. Right. And Colin I Bingo. moved on. No, I did a bit of all sorts. I front of house, selling the bingo books. Um, Eyes down. I did a lot of things there, really, but I ended up being a supervisor there in the uh, with the canteen and the bar. But after moving on from there, I worked at Morrison's uh, as canteen manager and then moved on from there. Where did I go? To a little tea shop just for a few months. And then I ended up working in another cafe. So sort of catering's been my main background. Right. Um, until leaving that cafe in 2016 when I was doing my own business, which is what I'm, I still do now. Right, okay. Um, what is that business that you do? I, I, I produce a cream. I've done other <coughs> products, but I'm just doing the cream now, which is a sulfur cream, which is really good for people with skin conditions, psoriasis, rosacea, that type of thing. Okay. And it's an online business. Um, What's the name? It's, well, it's got two names, really. It started off as Sulfur Skin Care, um, but then because I wanted the fact that it was all natural, I wanted that to come out a bit more, so I changed the name of this brand to My Natural Skin Care, but it's still Sulfur Skin Care as well. Right. Okay. So, yeah, that's an online business. So when I'm here, my daughter sends out my orders for me, which is good, and keeping it going. Fantastic. So, yeah. And what's your claim to fame then? Like, well, she, I think she's uh, been very modest in that she's not said that she actually makes a cream. Did you actually say that? I didn't say that, no. It, it took a long time to um, to sort of manufacture it and to get the, get the right formulation. You know, it's got to be legal, so that the formula's got to be right. You've got to send it to uh, people that test it. Right. So it's got to be, t it goes through very stringent tests. Safety tests. And it failed tests. three times. Uh, and it cost money every time it failed. Did it, was it three times it I failed? I think, no, it was twice. Twice. Mm. But then we found out about um, an emulsifier. So <clears throat> with, a, with any sort of a product that's not water-based, because there's no water in it, no is there? Water, no. A lot of products are water-based. If it's not water-based, you've got to have some sort of an emulsifier because sulphur is a very gritty mineral mm. in relation to a lot of other things. So you've got to, if it, dump, if it breaks down, then it'll fail the test because it's got to stay... What's the word? It was separating. It was separating. It was breaking up and separating. And it, it, they put it through a machine and it, it, it mimics being 12, year, you know, 12 months old. Yeah. So it, no, it does. It makes it age quicker in, in, so they can work out if it's going to break up. So it failed that twice. And then we found out about an emulsifier, which we put in the, in the uh, ingredients, yeah. Yeah, which, the formula. which made it perfect and stable. That's the word I'm looking for, stable. It's got to be stable. Yeah. They also put it because it's the main prod, uh, ingredient in it is shea butter, right. which melts in heat. Yeah, in heat. So yeah. they put it through a testing, <coughs> excuse me, of being really, really cold and warm. Right. Quite hot. Yes. And it has to stay stable. And I've got <coughs> that's the lithical in the throat. Right. Yeah. Like that. <coughs> <coughs> we were filming Brits in Spain, weren't we? And, uh, I was doing my outro, and a fly went straight in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt they'll show it. Yeah. They're not going to leave that out. So I'm there going, it's a thumbs up if you enjoy the video. Thumbs down if you don't enjoy the video. And, <laughs> and this fly went in my mouth, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> That's that me being born and been out talking. Yeah. <coughs> the little flies to get everywhere, don't Yeah. They? So coming back to the channel, mm. um, and obviously, What's been the main purpose as far as your been and what, what have you tried to portray um, and get across to the public, if you like, through the channel that you've um, created? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I think it's twofold for me. Like I said before, I enjoy creating the videos and yeah. making the films, but also we wanted to promote Tori Vieca because, yeah. because we love Tori Vieca. Yeah. Um, and we just want people to see how, how, how good it is. Yeah. Um, it's, a, it's probably not as well known as Benny Dorms and Deniers and all the, the expensive ones at Northern yeah, yeah, Casablanca. Yeah. It's a little bit cheap in Torrey Vecca, but it's got everything that you need. Yeah. Um, so you can save yourself a lot of money by coming here and also get the benefits of all that Torrey Vecca has got to offer. Um, and also, I mean, it's, it's good for us because it promotes our area. 
we're always promoting this particular area which is Altos del Limina uh, because we live here and it might push the price of our house up yes you never know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but we, you know we just love the place and we just want people to know what we experience and and it's good fun you know we enjoy doing it don't we plus we like to give people information you know yeah. but information yeah. that they need to know if they're wanting to buy something or just go on holiday giving them an idea what different areas are like yes we just pass on our experiences don't we yeah so whatever we learn we'll pass on yes so like the etias thing which is going to happen next year that no, it's little not, not many people know about what etias is or or if it's they've probably heard it's something coming yeah um but uh, you know we've done a little video about that, which is out tonight. Oh, okay. We don't uh, go into a lot of depth. No, we do, with and I'm going to do another. Sort of keep it quite shallow because we're not experts. You know, we no. just sort of give our experience and yeah. what we know. Yeah. If anybody wants to know anything, which has been extremely more. valuable, by the way. Mm. Yeah. From a from a a a, a viewer perspective. Yeah. You know, I've been a viewer and a fan for since you produced the channel. Yeah, great. It's been Thanks. A, been yeah. a, very positive, mm. you know, mm. especially for the information. And well, I've come here, I did, and I've stayed in probably a couple of thoughts. Mm. Yeah, it's good. Well, that, that's exactly yeah. what we, you know, what, what, what we want to get out of it, really. And we do get people coming up to us and saying they've bought houses because they've seen our yeah. videos. Yeah. And, yeah. And we like to just pass on the information. You know, our biggest video is probably buying a house yes. mm -hmm. and we did the cost of living video our hundredth episode we did a special one on the cost of living yeah difference between uk and spain yes that's that was really good that's got ninety thousand views or whatever yeah. um, and the house videos is that's quite a big one and another one we did about a lot of them seem to be people want to know about the ins and outs of buying property or yeah and that's very popular isn't it yeah. you know yes. we get asked different questions people will ask us you know can you do, you know, like we did the cost of living uh, comparisons. People ask us to like compare something in Spain mm. to at home, say a, a supermarket, you know, to compare yeah. the prices. Yeah. We, we get asked a lot of things, yeah, do, you know, yeah. what if people yeah. want us to do it. Mm. Yeah. Um, and Actually, if, if we I can, we will. Because you did do that, didn't you? You, you, you compared the cost of the supermarket, the supermarket prices. Yeah, yeah. yeah we did. Items. Mm. Yeah. Obviously, interestingly, that the alcohol was the biggest. Yeah, yes, that was the, that was the problem. That <laughs> that we got uh, we got slagged yeah. off for that because yeah. Uh, yeah. our shopping trolley was just full of gin and brandy yeah. <laughs> and beer <laughs> because that was so much yeah. cheaper. If, if we'd have brought that well, in Lidl's in the past time, it's yeah. <laughs> but we have to carry all that stuff home on our backs, don't we? Yeah. On our bikes. Yeah. yeah. So, 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 <laughs> what does the future hold now? With you know, between the lakes. Oh, we'll just keep going. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep we're going. We're going to do more live. We've decided we're going to do a few more lives. Last year we did lots of lives um, because, as Sean but well the knows. Short, the short yeah. lives. <laughs> it's, it's, a lot, um, it's, it's a lot easier. It? It's a lot easier than yeah. having yeah. to wait. But I do love editing. I've, I've said that before. I do love editing. but You do it, spend a lot of time editing. Yeah, because I like to get it just right. Mm. But um, He's a perfectionist. But, you know... If, if we uh, if we if we just go out, we can just walk about like we did yesterday. We, we just walk around the Pink Lake. That'll be the video out after the one that's coming out tonight. But we didn't and do that as a live, did we? But we just sort of filmed, I filmed it. it like it were live. Yeah. And we're going to do a live, but the, the disadvantage to lives is sometimes your signal drops out. You know, if you're yeah. not in the right yeah. place and your yeah. signal plummets and it looks horrible, and there's no you can do about it no. afterwards, no. unless you film it and then re-upload it. But then that defeats the object. Yeah. I mean, you can also just plug it. If you've got the time to do it on that same day anyway. You? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you ever do that? Or do you, yours, yours are mainly live, aren't they? You just, no, I just, I just do it live. I yeah. just sit in the garden. I mean, you see, sitting in your garden's good because yeah. you know your internet signals on. Yeah, yeah. But if you're walking but around... I have here. gone out. I've gone down to Cartagena to do some of the um, like festivals and you're walking about, obviously, in the street. But, you, of course, you can't see on the phone if the signal's going out. It's obviously oh, the yeah. other end. Yeah, that's it. I yeah. mean, the biggest problem is... You're, ch you're chatting away there, but mm. can they hear you? Yeah. Because it, it doesn't give you any response on the screen or no. volume or nothing. And that's why sometimes I'm always saying, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, if, if, if they couldn't hear you, they wouldn't answer, no. would they? And, and there's, 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 still, <laughs> there's still a slight delay as well. Yeah. You know, that's the other yeah. problem there. But I, I prefer the live stuff, but I've stopped at the moment because I've got, mm. got nagged up for a 
jobs around the garden that need sorting out. Um. Yeah, yeah, like you want something about your wall. Yeah, yeah. your wall wants yeah, retiling. The, the, there's, there's some tiles. Yeah, on I saw the, that on one. The wall. They're putting yeah. the pool. Yeah. And I'll be looking at him for a couple of years, thinking oh, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah. So I'll, I thought I'd better get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> and I did a the job is started already. So. <laughs> yeah. I did a special the other day because we got to the fifteen thousand at Ronda. It was in the mm. ball ring. Oh yeah, I saw that one. Yeah, you were, but you were there. You were there. Yeah. yeah, I deleted it. Oh, did you? Oh, what by mistake? mistake. Oh, mistake. Oh, no. No. Of course, when you do it on your phone, it, when you do it on the computer, they give you an option. You, you are you sure you want to delete this? Mm. But when you do it on the phone, it doesn't give that option. No. I was, I thought I was deleting something else, but I deleted the whole thing. Oh well. Anyway, that happens. Yeah, well, I've seen it, so yeah. that's exactly yeah. consolation. <laughs> yeah. Yogi, Yogi bought me another donut. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. So, what mm. does the future hold then, guys, for you guys? What you, what you uh, very much the same thing, do you think? You just said that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was for the channel. I was talking about oh. them. Oh, sorry. Oh, for us. Oh, right. Um, very much the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> just keep going. <laughs> yeah, just keep going. Keep breathing. Yeah. Keep moving. Yes. Well, we, we have been working up to getting into the. Uh, 90 in the 180 we, we, yeah. just, we, we haven't quite made it to do a full 90 twice well, a year well, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't do that it's no. too dangerous yeah but what you I'm wouldn't. saying there's been something that sort of we've had to cut it short for yeah oh yeah you yeah know, that's right like because birthdays and that, things, babies, yeah, being babies born weddings and, and stuff. great grandchildren being born so I think this year is probably going to be the longest time we'll have spent but yeah. Because okay. this time we're here for like 77, 78, and then the next time it's 88, 89. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. never do 90 because it's just, if something goes wrong, yeah. that, you know, you're going to be held responsible for being overstaying. And we don't really want to get in that position because if you do get caught, um, you will get fined and banned. Yeah. And it'll, it'll, it would affect your chances of becoming a resident as well if we ever wanted to do that, which yes. is possible. I don't think we will, to be honest. I think we'll kind of do in the 90 days, but. If we did want to become resident and we'd overstayed and got a black mark, we, you won't be, yeah. you won't get it. You'd, you'd be, you'd be blocked. So we, we are very careful that we don't go anywhere near the, uh, which is why I've got this new app on my phone, uh, which looks at before, behind, right. and 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 current times uh, to tell you that you, you're safe. Yeah. So yeah, we would, you know, it's just too dangerous to do 90 days because your plane's late, you've had it. Yeah. Especially now, when the new system comes in, they will know. I think at the moment they probably don't know but exactly. We yeah, I was say, how but you won't chance it. How do they police that? You know, at, the, at the moment, I don't think they do. I don't think uh, they can. Um, but when the SES comes in, they will definitely be able to do it because uh, it's, there's an entry and exit system that's being developed now at the airports for uh, third national nationals, and um, that will block you in, block you out. Right. Uh, and that's on your passport and it'll go into a computer and say this, but as soon as you, if you go out on the day after on the 91st yeah. day, it will come up in a red flag and say this guy's, or it, it might so even, exceeded yeah, 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 I think they'll know right. on the new entry exit system, they call it EES. Right. So when that's installed, that's when the ETS is going to, and I think that's why the delays have been there. I might be wrong, but I'm, I'm, I'm just reading between the lines. It's been delayed about three or four times, this ETS. Yeah. And I think it might well be because they haven't got this EES system going in the airports yet, which is a biometric, you know, face reading, yeah. everything, thumbprints, nose prints. I don't know what everything. That, <laughs> that, you know, uh, it's just going to know when you've been and when you've gone back. So I guess uh, one of my last questions would be, um, what is it you love about Spain? What? What is it? That Number one would be Sunshine. that big yellow thing in the sky <laughs> that we don't get in, in like eating so much. No, we don't get uh, any pots in there. <laughs> I think that's the main one. It's more chilled out. Yeah, so there's a lot of advantages. Uh, yeah. Cheaper, cheaper living. Oh, with more Cost friends here as well. Yeah, a lot, lot of friends here. Right. We've probably got more friends in Spain than we have in the UK. Yeah, right. Because in the UK you're stuck in your house watching TV because it's too cold to go outside. Whereas here, yes. you're out and about meeting people all the time. Yes. Yeah. And you just meet more people. Yeah. And we're like getting out on our bikes. You, you can just go yeah. anywhere on your bikes. We've gone for miles and miles tracks. and miles on the bikes. Right. You've got the weather. I mean, there's an episode there somewhere, isn't there, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. To do around sure making friends in, and how you guys have done it. 
Yeah. Yeah. So um, that's kind of it. Yeah. For, yeah. From us, yeah. you know, just to thank right. you for your time. It's been an absolute yeah. pleasure. Yeah. Explosion mm -hmm. experience after yeah. trying <laughs> before <laughs> and failing miserably on my part. But, uh, but thank you very much, guys. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. Enjoyed it.